cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collect. Today I'm going to share with you how you can use some cookie cutters similar to these ones that are stamp cookie cutters. Sometimes they are a little bit tricky but they are so nice and the cookies came out very very nice. But if you follow my instructions are going to be much easier for you because sometimes they're a little tricky as I told you in the beginning, okay? I'm going to show you several ways on how you can decorate the cookies using these cookie cutters but I'm going to show you some tricks that I know you're going to like them, okay? So let's get started! Please click the link above to see the cut -out cookie recipe that is one of my favorites. Well, this is a very, very, very nice idea to stamp cookies. These cookie cutters are so lovely by itself. They look super cute and the colors are super nice. But sometimes it's a little bit tricky to make these kind of cookies, okay? So first, we are going to cut our cookie and then we're going to stamp it, okay? So here, the temperature of your cookie dough is super important, okay? It needs to be overnight on the refrigerator and then you take it out and wait like maybe five minutes so it's a little soft. You are going to put your cookie cutter on flour like this so it can come out easily because first we're going to cut our cookie and then very carefully we're going to take it out and then I'm going to put it on my baking sheet and then we're going to stamp them. Very well, now we're going to stamp our cookie. So we have our cookie here. So we place our cookie cutter exactly where it goes. And then we're gonna press evenly, the more even we can. And then we take it out very carefully. And also, if you want, you can put a little bit of flour and shake the excess so it will look like this, okay? So you put it on the top of your cookie. Very careful that it is in the right spot. And then press. <laughs> to do when I'm gonna use a stamp cookie cutters is to tint our cookie dough. for 10 to 13 minutes very well our cookies are very very good they look super nice they just came out of the oven now we're gonna let them cool down and then meanwhile you can prepare your royal icing please click the link above for the recipe very well as you can see these cookies already look super cute just like that they look super nice and sometimes they are a little bit tricky if you want to flood your whole cookie because then the stamp design that is in your cookie is very hard to see if you're gonna flood it all over okay so one thing that i like to do is to cover it with a with a flooding icing consistency in natural color you are just going to flood all your cookie and this is kind of like a stencil technique kind of thing because you are just going to spread your thing and then you're gonna scrape all the icing so you can see the design
this one I am going to use just natural icing and I am going to outline as much as I can all the little designs. <music> Outlined, I am going to use one of these little bottles because this is a little intricate work and I am going to start putting the icing in all the parts that we need to put it on. <music> of deep pink that you are just going to outline your cookie and then you're gonna put sprinkles using the color cookie dough as I as I showed you before so these ones are also very very easy I think so that one looks pretty like that I'm not gonna do anything and the other one I'm gonna make it with a contrasting color maybe like a teal color so it looks more festive